Hi, this is Vince Ferraro. Hope you enjoy the video. The Precision XY model angle platform allows the user to independently set and record the model's X and Y axis angles, making it ideal for implants, attachments, stents, and scanning. I'll occasionally use the terms X and Y axis angles. And I'll also use the more familiar terms. The anterior posterior angle or the lateral right side left side angle will be used in a technique that I think works best for creating and recreating the desired angle. This technique will allow you to accurately set each of the two angles. And if the case comes back from another department or from the doctor, you'll be able to accurately reproduce the angles because they'll be recorded on the model. Let's start out with step number one of the technique. Always position the model so its anterior faces the single knurled pin. And when you angle the anterior down, this will be called a negative angle. Looking at it from the side view, you can easily see that the anterior is pointing down. If the anterior was pointing upward, this would be a positive angle. So this is now our first axis. Next, we'll address the second axis, the lateral angle. The tilt table's reference will always be on your left side as you're looking at it. Therefore, because the reference side of the table is pointing down, this would be a negative angle. Now that we've adjusted each angle individually, we now have what's called a compound axis. The anterior is pointing down, so you would record it as anterior negative. In this instance, the reference for the right-left angle is raised, so it's a positive angle. Now that the model's at the desired angle, let's start recording using our digital angle gauge. We'll start with the anterior posterior angle. It reads 13.5 degrees. Because the anterior is angled down, it becomes a negative angle. Now we'll record the lateral angle, the right side, left side, 16.4 degrees. And because its reference is raised, it becomes a positive angle. Let's record those readings on the model. The anterior angle was a negative 13.5 degrees. And the lateral angle plus 16.4 degrees. Now we come to the fun part, kind of like reverse engineering. Suppose a case comes back to you week, month, or a year later. Because you recorded the references on the model, you'll be able to recreate that angle. This is how accurate the angle gauge is. Now that the anterior angle is set, let's work on the lateral. positive 16.4 degrees. The technique is easy and accurate because you're setting each axis individually. Unlike a ball and socket joint where you can't isolate one axis from the other. 